This is Mike Sylvia with New Bedford Guide here with Ashley Bendixson. She's a resume writer. She'll be at the South Coast Job Fair, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So the South Coast Job Fair is March 31st from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Seaport Inn and Marina right across the bridge on 110 Middle Street in Fairhaven. Admission is free with a resume, and that's why I thought I'd bring Ashley on today to talk about that. Check out the text. I have a link to her website and we have a link to the South Coast Job Fair with the full details. There's going to be about 100 employees there, maybe up, up to 100. Right now I've got over 80 confirmed employers. So Ashley, why is it important to have a resume? Sure. Um, so it is so important to have a resume. Um, we all know that we are in a really tough job market nowadays. And right in our local community, there could be a job posting where hundreds of people are all applying for the same job. So it's so important to have a good resume and a strong resume because there's a process nowadays. With that much demand for a certain position, employers are receiving hundreds of resumes and they need yours to stand out. That's how you're going to make it past the first round so that you can get that interview and hopefully get that job. We're also living in a very different world right now uh, where a lot of places don't even have job applications anymore. Um, just the other day, actually, I was out with my sister and she was looking at restaurants and even restaurants are asking for resumes. So it's so important to have a resume for one thing and also to have one that really shows your skills and your skill set and, and what would um, best promote you for the job. Admission is free if you have your resume. So I talked to Ashley earlier. If you go to her website, contact her there. She'll help you work on your resume before you even get there. But you're also going to have a table there. I will have a table there. Um, so what I'm going to be doing at the jobs fair this year is I will be sitting there from 10 to 3 and I will be providing free resume consultations to anyone that wants to come and sit with me. Um, from then we can set up, set up an appointment, I'll give you my suggestions, tell you what I can do for you, and you can make the decision whether you want to work for me. Uh, not only would I make you a custom resume, but also a, a custom cover letter to go with it. I'll draft you some basic text for the letter, and I'll provide a year of free services from that moment on. Um, if you don't want to go that route, I'm also going to be doing on-site resume, resume editing right at the jobs fair. So if you bring your resume on a flash drive, I'll sit there with my laptop, I'll do some edits. Um, there is a flat fee for that, it'll be $50, but I will edit it on site. I'll have a printer available and I can actually print your resume for you right on site as well, which is great. But I do encourage you to reach out in advance. Um, if you send me your current resume, or even if you don't have one, we can sit on the phone and I can just ask you a few questions. I'll provide you my thoughts and suggestions at no cost, and then I'll give you a custom price and tell you what I can do for you. The best thing that you can do to set yourself up and really make the most of this jobs fair is to have a great resume and walk in there with a stack of them and talk yourself up and feel confident about who you are and what you're presenting to them, and that's already going to stand you apart from so many of the other people that are going. What's the number one tip you could tell someone who just going to do their resume by themselves? What would, they, what would be important, most important? I think the hardest thing about writing your own resume is really selling yourself. Um, it's inherently awkward to toot your own horn or to you know use these big lofty words about all this great work that you did. Um, and being humble is a wonderful thing, but when you're on paper and that's your first impression, you need to sell yourself. Um, a lot of the mistakes that I see, uh, a lot of times somebody might say, assisted the director to do this. Just say, I did this. And then when you get that interview, that's when you explain all the details. Um, also another tip, so when you put what your job was and where you worked, don't use those bullet points to put the obvious stuff that your job calls for. If you say that you worked in retail at Marshalls, don't say like sorting clothes and hanging them by size, that's obvious stuff. You want to use those bullets to really showcase any successes that you had at your job and anything that you did that went above and beyond. So my tip is to you know, sell yourself, don't feel silly making yourself seem awesome on paper, you have to do that, and consult with family and friends and get their input too because sometimes you need an outside uh, perspective to really sell who you are. If you have any questions about resume, go ahead and post it and I'll ask Ashley. Um, do you know some of, the, there's going to be a lot of employers there. I think at least 80 to 100 of them. Do you know any of them that are gonna be there? Have you had a chance to look? I really haven't, no. I mean, I, I would assume some of the most major companies around here, and you know, we have a lot of industry in this area, and, and there's so many different kinds of jobs in this area, so really anybody with any skill set probably can find a good avenue for them. So definitely, you know, if you're in New Bedford, Fall River, anywhere in the area, 
the job fair is going to have employers really from all around the state. I've seen from Boston to Rhode Island, all the way from the South Coast. So come on down, make sure you uh, bring your resume, dress for success. I have an article on your Bedford Guide. You can just type in, you know, dress for success. We'll post something up shortly with the chamber. We're going to talk to some of the Chamber of Commerce members this week and leading up to the job fair. It's really important to dress for success, have your resume, and um, you know, or else you're not going to get hired. Mm -hmm. So it's 10 o'clock in the morning to 3 p.m. Um, what is like looking over some of the resumes? What is like some of the biggest mistakes that you've seen? Like something big that stands out. I think just what I said, um, them just being too general and just the information being so basic that it's just not eye-catching to an employer. And another big piece too is just the design of it. Sometimes people have really good content on their resume, but it's just poorly laid out. And again, when you're skimming through a hundred resumes, it needs to have a nice clean look. Um, even just with the advent of the internet, we are more visual um, learners now. We, we like pictures, we like things that catch our eye. So it's really just having a nice clean layout. Um, so that's something that I definitely help people with all the time is just making it clean and crisp and making those job skills and who you are pop out right on, right on the top of the page. Are there templates out there to start with? There are, there are templates online. Yeah, and I mean, I advocate for simple. I mean, some people get really creative. If you're a graphic designer, maybe you want a really cool graphic design looking resume, but I think the best thing is to keep it simple, keep it bold, you know, play around with different fonts. Um, and you know, I have a, a few templates that I use and I'm always more than happy to help people for free, you know, provide these minimal suggestions and provide them with the tools to succeed. Someone comes to the job fair at 10 o'clock, comes to your table, um, how quick can they kind of get in and out, maybe have some resumes printed up? I would say if, uh, if their resume needs a decent amount of work, I can get them a pretty awesome resume within a half hour, um, 20 minutes to a half hour at most. Uh, I work pretty efficiently. I've been writing resumes for friends and family and paid customers uh, for many, many years, so I'm very good at this. I'm a writer by trade. I've done marketing and communications, so I can work pretty efficiently. And even for those who want to contact me in advance of the jobs fair, my turnaround time is about two to three days to get a complete product, product done. Um, I can work from my phone, I can work from email, Facebook Messenger, just asking the right questions. I'll send a quick draft, make a few edits, and I can really get this stuff done pretty quickly. Job fair is only five hours, so it's best to get done before then because chances are you get there, she's gonna be pretty busy during the 10 to three o'clock, so. Absolutely. Websites on there. If you have any questions about the employers and such, you can you can contact Ian Abreu. He's actually posted a comment there. Um, there should be a list of uh, some of the employers on the link I put on there. But you can go to the chamber or call the chamber. I think they're also still. I think they're pretty packed with employers, but you can still get a table. So make sure you um, just go to the chamber's website, give it a click, check it out. There's phone numbers there, ways to contact them, and I think ways to sign up as well. Anything else you want to talk about for resumes? I don't think so. Um, don't hesitate to reach out. Like I said, I, I you know, I'm not going to charge you just to give you my advice on your resume. You know, the, you know, it's it's a small investment that can hopefully really pay off for you, and I'd be happy to work with anybody that wants to reach out to me. Okay. Thanks, Ashley. Thank you, Mike.